It's been one week since this video captured a moment that Nicholas Gardner will never forget. I gotta say, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, pretty violating uh, to have someone who can just, you know, apparently you can just hit someone with a car in downtown Austin and get away with it now. Wednesday, we checked in with Gardner. Well, it's been really painful. Um, just kind of everything, all like the achiness and the soreness has kind of set in. The road rash is starting to heal up, but he's still using a crutch and in a boot. I haven't really been able to work just because I'm kind of zonked out in pain meds. Out of work, out of the triathlon he was training for, and out of a planned snowboarding trip. Probably about four weeks until I'm back like walking normally. Uh, if everything goes well, probably eight weeks if like the fracture is as bad as he thinks. The video of Gardner getting hit made its rounds on social media and was especially scary for other bicyclists like Truett Adams. I'm sure a lot of the cyclists that are out there right now that saw that video, I'm sure they're the same way. They, they're, uh, they're, their tingle is up a little bit, so to speak. They're, they're more observant and cautious. And with a quickly growing city, Gardner thinks more could be done to protect bicyclists, especially in high traffic areas like Riverside Drive. I mean, we're touted as one of the most bike friendly cities in America, but every day I look on the news, there's another headline about someone getting hit. In fact, the same day Gardner was hit, another bicyclist was hit in southeast Austin. That bicyclist was killed. Same day as me, he got hit and he, he died. I was able to walk away. As for the investigation, Gardner says he met with APD detectives on Monday. Hoping to contact them on Thursday and see uh, what they'll have.